hello again, boys and girls. Uh, yeah. I just logged in. Just logged in. Um. Uh, okay, so. This is interesting. Um. Oh, no. Okay, uh, well, we'll be right back when I clean this up and get things under control. Moom, look, look, I'm still getting 109 f FPS. I don't know which, oh wait, 86. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> All right, back in a minute. All right, I said we were going to be right back, but uh, there appears to be another problem. I have mining, f oh, maybe, why do I have mining fatigue? Oh no, they screw Oh, what did they do? How did they do? Oh, they just put a thing so they couldn't get out. I see. Okay. Um. Moomy. Hi, Moomy. Um. I still have mining fatigue. Is it just. Why would I have mining fatigue? I didn't have mining fatigue when I quit last night. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Um, let's go. Well, it's. Pretty bad. How many entities? 500 E's. Alright, my mining fatigue's gone, so I can actually try to clean this up. Why is the dispenser... How is it working? Uh, get out of the way. Alright, so, we fixed that problem. Oh yeah, I'm full of stuff. Oh, it was picking up. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's throw stuff away here. I was on a little mining expedition last night. That's why I have stuff. And it doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Moom. Uh, Moom had made Moom McDonald's. Um, drop eggs. So it appears... Now, the person he did that for was Olenek. So it appears Olenek... Instead of using the... I'm assuming it's Olenek. I don't know. I haven't found a... Oops, let's turn that off. I haven't found a... Um, it was supposed to be used against somebody else, which we'll get to a little later in the video. But he appears to have done it against me, which is unfair. So, let's, let's take, oh, sounds like Moom just showed up. This is going to kill my sword, but one. <laughs> Moom's getting one frame per second. <laughs> poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Oh, man. Uh, give me that. Thanks for the help, Moom. Alright. So, what we'll do is we'll take a quick break there. I don't know, Moom. I don't know. I don't know if this is all. Okay, I've said twice now. We're going to take a quick break. So, yes, let's do that. Let's take a quick break. And we will be back once we get things slightly under control. All right, Moom's helping me out here, uh, cleaning up. And we just got to the crux of the problem here. Look at all these freaking... I've already broken like 10, 15 hoppers. Look at them all. Good God. And they were all filled with eggs. No wonder there were so many freaking chickens. If this was all an egg. If this was all an egg, that's... I am... Oh, I don't know what to do. We were... We were pacifists. He hadn't bothered me. I hadn't... Oh, my God. He hadn't bothered me. I hadn't bothered him. Wow. Um, this is... This is insane. This is ins... How many flippin' hoppers? Oh, my... Good... God. Ha <laughs> ha 
Um, this is, this is, um, I don't even know where we are. I, I don't know. I don't know, Moom. I don't know where this is going at all. This is ridiculous. This is, this is... <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry guys, I got sidetracked here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Moom. Where are we? Where are we, Moom? Oh no, don't say oh my god. I don't like oh my god. Is there another whole row of... Did he <laughs> Did he suck directly out of Moom Donald's? Did he suck directly at a McDonald's? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Moon? Is this what you're saying? If that's what you're saying, I don't like what you're saying. I don't know where the heck... Yeah, this is McDonald's. What, what do we do, Moom? Oh my god. Anyway, okay, so we've had... I've got almost a stack and a half of hoppers. Almost a stack and a half of hoppers. This is ridiculous. I have, how many do I have? I didn't count it up. So 60, 70, 80, 82, 90, no, wait, 90? Jeez, I can't add. And 92. Okay, now to go find a sign. Good God, and fix my floor. Fix my floor. Uh, uh, such, such evilness. Such evilness, Holly. This episode is much longer than I. What was that? Did you enter Pearl into something? Oh, he wants to beat me. I see. I see. So you'll see some of my project there. Um, that I wanted to show, but for now, let's just go downstairs and see if we can find the damage. All right, so first off, there's still chickens in here somewhere. This might cause me to move out, but so we'll start with Ollie first, or what I think is Ollie. Isn't this prank excellent? Oh, it was Panda. Ah, oh, it was Panda. Ice road. Ice road. What are you talking about? Ice road. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um. So let's go to sleep. So it was panda. So. Um. Good God. All right. This is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, so here's what's going down on Flower Crowd right now. There has been a war going on. Um, Panda, 
found out that a few of us um, are in a group that we call the Conspiracy Group. Uh, Moom, Olenek, Jillamy, and I are in a group we call the Conspiracy Group. I'm not sure we mentioned that before. Anyway, so he did this about a week ago. Read me. To just Gerald, it has come to my attention that you are part of a so-called conspiracy group. As you may or may not know, war has recently been declared on this group, and you are in danger. If you do not wish to be targeted, do not take part in any war activities in the name of this horrible organization. You do not want to become my enemy. Signed Panda. Now, I believe if I remember correctly... The genesis of all this is we kind of ganged up on him, or I don't, I don't remember. He he died, and so then we killed back, and there was a little skirmish back and forth, and he killed me, and I tried killing, or maybe I killed him, and then he killed me two or three times, and I couldn't get back to kill him. Anyway, long story short, is he has now declared war on our conspiracy group. So that was the first thing. And then I was working on the sheep farm, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And then he left me a whole bunch of signs. This isn't... Uh, nowhere is safe, Gerald. Nowhere. I am everywhere. I might still be here. You were busy with your sheep when I was here. Panda was here. So that he did all that. And then... Shut up, corner chicken. Are you, no, you're two. Now you're one corner chicken, right? Okay. Um, oh, and I do have a corner chicken back. Good. All right, all my corner chickens are available. So I got to fix the floor. So anyway, he's he's declared war. Promise I didn't do anything. Well, this time he did do something. So there's been a few pranks. Uh, there's been a few pranks. We've killed him three or four times. I went and pranked him. I uh, He has a whole box line full of boxed horses uh, we bug him that he's cruel to animals because he boxes his animals in small boxes so i pretended i killed him i put i named a bunch of leather with the names of the horses and stuck them in stuck them in chess so it looked like they were all executed and then i hid the horses kind of hid the horses just closed the, the thing up um yeah yeah, I agree. All right, so. So that's that's Panda. That's the update on Panda. Now, the update... The update is... Yeah, he, he, he put another note here saying Panda was here, so I put Panda's not allowed. So the other thing I've done is... I'm just randomly killing chickens. Is I finished... Did a lot more work and almost more or less finished the sheep farm. So, as you can see, purebreds, all these colors, one of every color up here. And I finished the roof, so it's all nice and, and sky blue. And now I've made a level, and I, I've, I've after the fact, I've realized this is way too long for all the levels. Because this is about how many sheep I think we're going to leave in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's an awful lot of room. So, um, so there's no roofs in any of them yet. There's no good walls yet, but we've got uh, light blue and white, and I didn't really put any thought into the color where they were. Uh, you see there's colors there. I'm thinking about coloring the roofs the same, same color as they are, but I haven't made up my mind on that yet. And at the other end, it actually is labeled, so not only do you have the colors to go by, but it's labeled at the other end. Uh, so green and brown. So as you can go down, you sort of see the colors you want to go through. And unfortunately, it's sort of also become a slime farm. That was a inadvertent, inadvertent thing that uh, we were in a slime chunk, apparently. And then you get to the bottom. So there's one of every color, two on each level. Uh, a couple doors down here to get out into the, the land out there. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too special. But now we have a fully functioning, fully stocked slime farm, or, yeah, slime farm and chicken farm. Or, sheep farm. Wool, wool. You can have wool. Wool, sweethearts, content. 
so I did that. What else did I do? Oh, it's been a busy time on here. I haven't been recording, but it's been a busy time. Moom did some, some landscaping. He did all the the grass, and then he put these wooden things down here, to make it kind of look weird. Uh, he extended the pool that was there all the way across into Calm's tower. More chickens. So then I got the idea that he's gonna. He says he's still gonna build a bridge. Should be good. So then I got the idea. He made this nice little hollow here, and this little natural hollow was here already with my my original bridge. So I put up some park benches and some lamps, and so now we can watch all these chickens. Um, all these chickens. Hopefully, these are the ones we heard from our downstairs. Um. So yeah, so then there's I put some glowstone in the bottom, make a light up. So at night it almost looks like the same as it does now. Uh, and then over here, so I finished some roads. I put some roads over here, going up to here. So now we can still go up into uh, I forget whose place that is now. Yeah, it's been a while. TSNGs? Or no, Tinder K Tinderbreds. Yeah, it's the Brads. So into Brad's place, and then over to whoever that place is. is. Um. And then up here, there was, again, two pools there. So I filled this in a little bit more. I made another little nesting pool down to that. I was thinking about also running it into here, but I haven't decided on that. Uh, so yeah, there's a park there. And then there's another little park with a bench here. JG Park. So nice little place. So that's what I've been up to. Um, it's taken a longer time than I wish to admit. Um, but yeah, just come on at night, dig out a, a section, and then come back. So we've got eight double stacks of cobble here. That is free to a good home, but nobody's willing to take it. <laughs> I don't blame them. Uh, start of start of all the wool chest for everybody. Um, yeah. So what else do we want to talk about today? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go for a bit, go finish cleaning up my house, and then we'll be back. All right, so we're all cleaned up, get all of Panda's stuff put away. We're going to have to think of something really good for him. Oops, it's dark outside. I'm going to have to think of something really good for him, because he, he has just been a pain in my behind. Yeah, that's right, kitty, behind. Oh, that's where the other stair went. Okay. I was carrying around an extra stair. I wondered why I had it. I've now figured out why I had it. All right. Uh, whoop, nope, not that one, that one. And bloop, and bloop. Okay. Now, so like I said, uh, now that I'm back on track here. Oh, you guys, you guys. Don't get to live anymore. Ah, sorry. Not enough of you people. There's still somebody in there, but... Oh, there. Over there. Okay. Hi. Hi. I've had enough chickens. My corner chickens are the only chickens around here. They're loud here. They're loud here. So, yeah. I like my, my doohickey here. Uh, the sheep are a bit of an issue. I don't know how to solve the sheep problem. We can hear them. Is, is the issue. Um... I don't know if I get rid of the top layer, get rid of all the purebreds, maybe that'll help, but, ah, it's, it's, it is what it is. So, other interesting news is I've upgraded my PC. Before I was running a laptop, a fairly old laptop, um... So it was it was a Pentium 7, but it was like first generation Pentium 7, or Pentium 7? Intel. I7. That's the words I'm looking for. It was a first generation I7. First or second generation? One of the two. Anyway. Uh a so uh and then a 560M video card. So it was a, it was an Asus uh laptop. And at the time they bought it, it was it was pretty good. It was refurbished at the time, so it wasn't it wasn't top of the line. But I've went out and I've purchased 
I've built my own computer for the first time. This is brand new. My built. I built it. Um, it's pretty good. I think I've. I didn't get top of the line everything, but I got. Got pretty. Oh, moon went all the way out here too. Oh, moomy. So what have I got? So I think this shows us pretty much. Yeah. So I've got an i7 6700K, which was more than I was planning to spend, but they had it in stock, so I thought, ah, what the heck. Uh, I did have an i5 on order. It's what I actually bought was an i5. Uh, I But uh, when I went to the store, I just happened to ask, because they were out of i7s is the main reason. And when I was there, I said, well, you don't happen to have an i7 in stock, do you? Well, we got the unlocked one. I'm like, ooh, that's more than I wanted to spend, but I really want the i7. So we got that. So the i7, 6700, unlocked, 4 gigahertz, you can see. Um, we've got the GeForce 790. Um, again, unlocked again, so it can be overclocked. The overclocked edition, it's an Asus, Asus, Asus Strishik 970, so it's unlocked. I can uh, ramp it up if I want to. I haven't yet. Uh, I haven't really used the computer that much yet. Put it through a stress test with uh, Furmark and with uh, Prime95. Ran that for a few hours. And GPU got to, I don't know, 40C, maybe 60C. No, that was what it was. My CPU was 60, 55 to 60C. And my GPU got to 67 or something like that. Or maybe it was 40. I, anyway, they were well within tolerance. Uh, and I've got a 16 gig video or 16 gig uh, RAM, so I think it's going to run everything I need to run well. As you can see, we're getting 119, 120, pretty steady. A little bit less when we look at the sheet, but nothing too shabby. A lot better than the old maybe get 30, 40 before. But like I say, the old laptop didn't do too badly, but uh, this is nice. I could just don't even have to think about it now anyway so that's what's new in my neck of the woods and i think that's going to be it for today i had really planned to do some more stuff i wanted to build a house and so i can get rid of my nice little thingy so a nice little house here for me and a sheep sheep shed a sheep shearing shed here so we can cover up the hole down into the sheep farm but panda wonderful panda screwed that up we'll figure him out soon though you guys should leave suggestions in the comments on what i should do to panda he's been he's been just a little too cheeky lately all right boys and girls that's it for today have a good one and see you later